The Asian American internet is talking about this scene from the show Warrior, which is now on Netflix. So you watch it and let me know what you think. Let's run the clip. Hey, Ching Chong, did you smell yourself? You don't walk away when I'm talking to you, Ching Chong. Shit. He's gonna eat it off the dirt. Tomat ye. Otowo. Mayula. Leila. No one, Mayula. What's with this one? You sticking up for your little buddy over there? I asked you a question, Slant. You don't understand shit. Yeah. Well, you better learn it fast. Because if you don't answer me now, he's gonna bleed all over that fancy shirt of his. I wouldn't do that again if I were you. Fucking slank and talk American. Holy shit. Do it again. Say something. I didn't travel halfway across the world in that damn boat just to amuse a few fat white fucks. There. I said something. You think because you speak American, you can talk shit to me? Well, you have to admit it helps. Somebody chink needs to learn his price. You think you can take me on? That's the wrong question. Oh, yeah? What's the right one? The right question is do you really want to find out? David, how did this make you feel? You was can't it? help but feel a little bit something like when Bruce Lee was coming out in okay. the 1970s, beating people up, okay, fighting for justice, being righteous. A lot of people th take this clip as very cathartic. They're like, wow, this is there. I needed to see this. This is what we need more <laughs> of. I need to see more uh, guys stepping up to the oppressors, uh, whether they're white guys, or in this case, they're the old white guys from the well, 1910s. Well, that, that's the politically whatever. correct choice, right? Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Of course you, you, you should. Guy. That's the uh, non-problematic choice. But then, uh, so, you, so you go after them, you beat them up, you teach them a lesson. Is this scene realistic? Do you like the scene? What do you like and don't like about this scene? Because I think we have to understand that the show Warrior, it is a good show. I've seen some episodes. I, I'm not, I didn't watch all the episodes, even though I can. Right. Right. But I acknowledge it is a good show. But I guess, how come we don't watch it more? Yeah. I mean, it's based off Bruce Lee's writings. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Check out Smile Last Sauce, SmileLastSauce.com. I'll say this, man. I like the scene. <clears throat> I can see why everybody's commenting on it. But I don't like that a lot of people are pretty much going to, like, end it there. What do you mean ended there? Like, they're going to be like, oh, it was good to see it. Anyway, go on my day. And then, like, a bunch of Asians are going to get picked on, like, in their city. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying directly to them or their family, but, like, possibly. All right. Can this show inspire anybody to stand up for themselves? Obviously not fight everybody and beat up everybody. That's, like, beyond some physical limitations, right? right? But... But is this show inspiring? Do you think this the scenes like this inspiring to people? It can't hurt, but it definitely is not the end all be all. Like for myself, I might be a little bit more, even more excited by scenes like this one, where this Asian guy was about to get jumped uh, by a bunch of frat guys. Apparently, we'll just play Atlanta. it down below. I'm not yeah, gonna cut you. We're just gonna play the clip. He, apparently, yeah, <clears throat> these guys are trying to jump on me. Ends up beating this guy up who looks like Macklemore. No, he, he this guy, yeah, that's violent yeah. clip. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, I think he's like a Kazakh boxer or something. This like is that. a real thing that happened. This, this is, is a real thing. thing. I, I guess what I'm saying is just like. I'm more kind of like, 
yeah, media representation matters, but at some point, real life action matters a lot more. Here's what I think about this show, Warrior. At least just, let me just talk about this clip because the show, whether or not you watch the show, I don't know, right? But clips like this, if it can inspire someone, it's not going to change someone's life. It's not like this kid who gets picked on, he watches this scene, he goes, I'm going to act like him and I'm not getting picked on anymore. And then he marches back out to his bully the next day. Right, after because he doesn't the have the strength of six men in one fist, yeah. like Assam going boom, yeah, like yeah. this, and the guy going bam. But I think it inspires you to look more into martial arts and train martial arts. I think that is a very important step because I think training martial arts is the first small step into becoming like this guy, even though this is a fake character. Like, you know, it, and it would, didn't even this this didn't happen. It didn't you know, happen. The, the railroad, the railroad workers, didn't have any assignment. Yeah, this guy him. did not. I don't know. He did not exist because he speaks English too fluently and he's, he's too, whatever. But anyways, it's, it's a fictional character. But I'm saying that it's nice to see. But I guess that as long as it inspires you to take the next step and and maybe take a martial arts class, then that's really good for your health and I think really good for your mental. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna be not a buzzkill, but I'm gonna break down exactly probably what would have been realistic. Oh, I'll tell you this. At the time, the most like masculine Chinese guys during this railroad rush where essentially people are like almost like quasi slaves, right? Indentured servitude, you know, would, were probably some Asian gangsters who would, if they, they got tested, somewhat defend Asians, but they would also simultaneously like tax the Asian community. Yeah, like they would be, which is this sort of the nature of Asian gangs. Everybody's always like, you know how gangs any, in general, but you know how like anytime anything happens nowadays, people are like, bring the Asian gangs back, and I'm like, dude, there was bad sides. Yeah, too. yeah. there's good and bad. I mean, there definitely there's an alphaness that you miss and an intimidation factor, but they also they also oftentimes take from the. I mean, all gangs take right. from their own community. And if you too. know about the people that like came over from southern China at that time, they did have sort of like a surf or a peasant mentality, even in a self-identity. And that's partially why there was no like uprisings to like fight back because they saw themselves as low in China. They're coming to America to get money to send back to China. They view themselves as like, they got, they got to take a lot of ish either way. Mm -hmm. so you know what I mean? So I'm just saying like, I just don't know how much this half white, half Japanese actor shifts everybody's identity because he's coming from a super elevated place. He's from a rich family, even in the novel, he's from like an elevated background. I mean, like the show, he's from an elevated mm -hmm. background, just happens to be defending all the poor peasants. Yeah. But it's not going to turn the peasants all into like king minded people. Do you see what I'm saying? Where I'm like, I don't know if what was like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, well, if he kind of comes in, I don't as know if people are really understanding what are they wanting to see. Are they wanting to see everybody actually uplift themselves, or become business owners, or become revolutionaries, or do they want these railroad workers to team up and kill all these mean white indentured servitude masters, or what do they want to do? You make an interesting point. I think what I would like to see more of is more like the inner workings of how like people can team up and work together. I guess that's not as exciting as one man. As one super, super elevated one superhero Goku. batman type coming in and and beating up the bad guys because visually you just like the scene right but ultimately what do you want to take from the show you want to take how to organize how to train each other how to care for each other how to care for your community hopefully hopefully that's what you draw from the show but right, again right, you know right. and maybe if you do happen to come from a downtrodden group in that moment or just for that era of history if you happen to be an elevated member reach back and help the people who are not as elevated. Now, do you reach back and teach them all your Kung Fu moves or mental Kung Fu moves or what, you know what I'm saying? I guess reach back. Uh, okay. All right. Of course, Andrew, a bunch of people were hype about it. A lot of people are just like, yo man, I just love seeing this. What do you think? I mean, people just love to see. Yeah. The strong, like strong say, I mean, guy from a weak group nah. beat the guys who are in the higher in the power hierarchy. It was a cool line. He called him, uh, called him some names, fought back. I guess it's cool to see kind of like some, uh, old school. Uh, it was, it was, a, and it was a well done scene. I mean, Andrew Koji can really do martial arts. So that's why it works. Netflix say, says that they'll fund season four. If the Asian American community, essentially, I'm assuming that's who they're betting on pushes up the numbers for seasons one through three on, uh, you know, on Netflix. Do it, I think they're bluffing? I don't know. That show Should looks... Should the Asian American community support this is what I'm saying. Is there any sort of like, man, this was from Bruce Lee's writing, so we're supporting this old legend and showing masculine Asian guys 
in a time where uh, we were so unmasculine. Is it something that we should champion and all push for? Well, if that was like, if there was like a, a number that we had to reach and we were within reach, I guess I could see making a small extra push to reach that number. But ultimately, we don't know what the number is. We don't know if Netflix is just bluffing and saying that just so you watch the show and they have like very low intentions of actually producing it because it costs millions of dollars. So I guess my that would be my question because otherwise I'm just like, I don't know. I can't How about like, this, guys? Check it out. Yeah, At least see watch if you it. like it. No, it's a cool show. At least see if you like it. It's a cool show. I'm, you know what? I'm going to watch an episode tonight. Okay. And I've, I've seen maybe only four episodes in my life. Um, somebody more. said, has anybody dealt with similar situations in the past? Somebody said this was high school for him. And somebody said in the 1970s or 60s, this was way more like the real life story than like what is it now. Now it might be like <clears throat> in a corporate sense, you're getting bullied, but yeah. just not as much like this exact <clears throat> scene anymore. Yeah. And I think that ultimately that's why you start the process and let this inspire you to take to do something bold, to take up a bold class, whether it's martial arts or take up even a, a public speaking class or something that empowers you and gives right. you the skills, some Western skill set in this world that improves those skills that you're going to need. Like, just have this inspire what, what, you. That's what would all. a modern-day application would it be? Would it be at work where guys are like, hey, Melvin, why don't you stay in this weekend and uh, run these numbers for me? And then Melvin's like, No. It's not within my job description. You should do your own work, Cody. Ooh. That would be the equivalent of him assaming it. Ooh. Possibly. I'm just throwing it out hey, there. Hey, Cody. Know. Tell me your 2024. That's not the correct question. Hey, the correct hey. question you should be asking is how are you going to figure it out next week when you come back on Monday? And he CCs the superior in Microsoft Outlook. That's the Assam version. Yeah. Um, of course, there was a bunch of people arguing, saying, like, racism has been fixed. I never got called a chink before. Blah, blah, blah. This is fake news. I'll tell you this. Listen, guys. Everybody's experience is so different in this country. And in 2024, I noticed the fishbowls are getting more disparate. So there's some people who are going through almost something that seems very much like this scene in Warrior. And there's people that, depending on the flow of their life and the fishbowls that they place themselves in, or that they're, 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 they'll never see anything like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot different than the 60s and 70s where everybody probably was like, oh, yeah, for sure my dad went through something like this. Yeah, I don't know how you can say there's no racism when we just had anti-Asian hate stuff happen, but I know not everybody has been called the C-word to their face. I have been, but in different contexts. Um, but it's not like, yeah, I don't get it every day now. Like I've noticed getting called the C-word a lot less. Yeah, late. it like happens. In the past it's, five, ten years, the, man, when we were growing up, the frequency oh God, I was hope it, pretty high. I hope it happens less. But anyways, guys, so uh, let us know how you feel about this scene, how important it is is it to you to watch this show? Is this the best show? Is there other things that you can do? Should it just inspire you to take the next step in your life? The Warrior, it is a well-made show. Shout out to Olivia Chang. We know her. She We play basketball with her over in Toronto. She's in the show. Um, I hope they give it a season four. Yeah, they should. Netflix. I want to see how Netflix does. Yo, that would Asian be a power. crazy thing if Netflix puts it on their platform from HBO and then produces the next season. It's almost like adopting someone else's kid that they abandoned and then giving them a position at their company. Yeah, dude, it was been jumping all around. I think it went HBO Showtime to, oh, to, wow. to Netflix now. Well, people seem to like it. So if it's still bouncing around, you know, it's a journeyman of a show, but that means it still has value. So shout out. I'm going to watch an episode today. You have my word for it. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.